Hey everybody, it's Jimo here. In today's video, we're gonna speedrun the map, the Ice Cavern map that usually I don't really play that often. Now, the idea behind the today's video is actually quite simple. How to play Frost Mountains only if in case if you have little under 10 minutes. And pretty much this is what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna hop into Frost Mountains. We're gonna try and cheese as much stuff as we could get with insanely 6 minutes. I'm gonna show you what I would have done in case if I'd had only six minutes and, um, you know, to play the game and pretty much how I would have speed run it. So the timer is going to start from the moment I get into the game. Okay, so pretty much this is what we're gonna get. We're gonna get a little bit of items. Doesn't matter what exactly you're gonna wear. None of this matter, but I'm gonna just throw just to have something. At the end of the day, it's really not that big of a deal. Wear whatever. I just have little too much stuff and I would be happy to lose it. In case if I lose it, I would be still happy with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, and basically, yeah. I'm gonna try to find a pair of pants for the time being. And basically, the leather gloves. And maybe a cup. And maybe a um, cloak. You know, we're kind of there. Kind of there. Kind of kind of get cooking, you know what I mean? And also, since we're gonna use the Schweihander, I haven't touched Schweihander in a long while, I could change to the Pardesh or an Axe, but I wanna give it a shot to Zhui, because I haven't played with this weapon in a bit. I'm gonna use the Two-Hander. Two-Hander with the Savage. Basically, and these two perks are going to complement each other, especially if you are not using um, an Axe. Uh, the uh, basically two perks will impact any weapon you're gonna play with. Alright, so this is kind of it, I guess. Actually, wait a minute, hold on a second. We have Robust, we have Potion Chakra, we have Savage, we have Tokander. We don't need to hand her. We, we, we gotta use Crush. Yep, my bad, sorry. Alright, and basically, let's get some mats going. Let's get some cheese. And we're gonna be good, you know? We're gonna be good to go. Yep, this is it. This is kind of it. This is the build I'm gonna quickly run. Do a quick little speed run. This is the stats I'm gonna have. 5.5 action speed. I'm, I have a 306 move speed. I'm fairly slow. And we are about to hop into the game. Let's freaking do that. So pretty much I'm gonna quickly showcase you how to speed run the map and go for the specific um locations where you will be able to get as much cheese as possible. I'm gonna try to speed run this map as quick as possible and leave this map as quick as possible. So pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna run in two specific locations. We've spawned at literally the worst possible place we could physically ever ask or want it. Like this place is arguably the worst one to spawn at. But overall it's okay, it's not that deep. We're gonna run directly all the way west. 13 timers, we have 13 minutes ready, 13.40. We're losing a lot of valuable time, but overall it's not that deep on the bandage. Alright, we're gonna break the door here because I don't want to deal with the mobs that are located in that tile. They're quite annoying. We're gonna break this door as well. Alright. Wait a second. No, no, no. Phew. For a second, for a really second, I saw it. I found the guy. Nope, that's not the guy. I'm gonna close the door because I don't want to deal with all the mobs. Not planning to deal with all the mobs. The plan for today's video is actually something else. We're gonna go and clear up wolves. And basically, we're gonna extract as quick as possible. Ideally, we extract at the 9 mini mark. We have torch, we have light. Okay. We check the wolf. We got Francesca. I'm gonna aggro all the wolves on me. That's the plan, that's the play. The sooner I do it, the better. We have another open door here. I'm gonna be honest, I really enjoy cleaving through all the mobs. That feels quite satisfying. The goal is to find wolf pelts. 
Sometimes they're gonna drop, sometimes they don't. Basically, the wolf pelts, they have a 5% chance to drop. Where the fuck are the wolf pelts? Well, I got one, though. But that's definitely not exactly the one that I'm here aiming for. But overall, that's right. Alright, only 10 minutes left, we still have a wolf there. Fuck. <laughs> Ten thirty is actually a very low amount of time, I'm gonna be honest. I might not make it. I might not make it. Yo, this is that was it. That's the wolf pelt, bro. Wolf pelts right now are fucking five hundred plus gold each. Oh shit. That looks a little terrifying. We have little under a minute. I'm gonna quickly run and aggro all the mobs even though there was a guy that doesn't matter to me as much. Alright, I took quite a bit of aggro and I'm dragging all the mobs out so that I actually will be able... Bro. He chose his own fate. Oh, another wolf pelt, hell yeah. And another, uh, nope, no pelt here. Third pelt, let's go. Okay. Okay. Let's take all his stuff really quick. Whatever he has doesn't matter. And we're gonna extract. Phew. Okay, so we got three wolf pelts. We got an extra sick pelt. We got a wolf claw, wolf fang. And pretty much we did everything pretty quick, I would say. <laughs> and we use the fastest extract while getting all the wolf pads. And pretty much this is the way that you could use, especially if you don't have time. But you want to make some gold. Let's actually go out and let's actually see how much money we're able to make. Just in like, what, six minutes, I think? Okay. First thing first, let's get rid of this. We're gonna go to the marketplace. The wolf pelts, we have three. Wolf pelts. We're gonna search up. So three pieces cost 1400 gold. <laughs> wow. Actually pretty good. And also we have extra sick belt. Which probably not gonna go as much. And okay, we have it's like another 50 gold. And then we have a Double wolfing. Let's check. Okay, so that's probably another like more or less 50 gold. We have a fox pendant with one true. Let's quickly check. More or less now 50 gold. So we were able to make like around 1600 gold just in one game in a little under six minutes, I believe, with the extreme budget kit that I just threw with the stuff that I don't care about. 1600 gold is gonna be enough for me to afford a really decent kit and pretty much with 1600 gold that's straight up another video idea. <laughs> a budget, uh, extreme budget 1600 gold barbarian build, but I feel like 1600 gold is no, not a really a budget build, you know what I mean? For 1600 gold, you can make a solid fucking build, you know what I mean? Anyway, let's go again and let's try to make another 1500 gold. Maybe we'd come across someone to kill, that'd be pretty nice, because in the last game we didn't really get to kill anyone geared. Hopefully, hopefully, this time around there's something gonna be different.
All right, we're actually in. Let's freaking go. Yo, that's such a good spot, by the way. In fact, it's so good that we'd be able to get everything done in just a matter of seconds. Right now, literally next to the wolf den. I believe this is how it's called. Pretty much, the first thing first, we're gonna take the aggro of every single mob. And then we're gonna drag them together. The Schweihander and uh, wolf farming comes hand in hand, but you can use any other weapon as well. Like if you choose to use uh, one-handers, you could just simply use the drag technique and hit number of mobs at the same time. It's gonna speed up the process. The drag technique is basically, you hit one mob and then you drag your weapon onto the next one. I use it pretty often though. I honestly, I never realized how much I actually use it. This is right hander though, on the other hand, you don't even need to bother too much. Just swing it. Try not to heal the wall. That's all it's gonna take. Wow, we kill all the mobs so fast, bro. It's actually satisfying. Oh, yo, wait a second. Those moves are pretty good. We got additional move speed. Alright. A geared cleric? Wow. Who would have thought? What? Brother, you're dead, you know that? Um. Interesting. He's probably not very geared, right? Let's check what he has. Okay, bunch of true magical. Moosebed, max health. Mm, budget gear set, I would say. Probably around 1500 gold. More or less. Maybe a thousand gold. But yeah, definitely not bad, though. It's not a bad kid. The cleric right now is a class is very strong, but he can't play like that. Basically, the first thing he should have done is he should have casted the ju uh, judgment. But um, one he missed, two he let me get really close. Cause right now the cleric stomps and barbs, and if you die as a cleric to barb, it means one thing: you're a bad fucking cleric, and you gotta get better at it. Pretty much, in order for me to make a full guide and explain how does the cleric works, I would actually need to start playing it, but um, I'm gonna try to explain how it works. Pretty much, he has like a spell that's just gonna do a lot of damage, which called Judgment. You pretty much stockpile this amount of will, you hit anyone for like 40-50 health and you then you're gonna slow them down. Then it's up to you whether or not you wanna get close, but the thing is... You should never let anyone attack you when you don't have a weapon in your hands. And basically, that's just also part of it. With the smite, you will be able to outrade. And with the judgment, you'll be able to slow anyone down. So you can't just openly rush people. Stay by the door, cast the judgment. A couple times, you win the fight. GG. Clank is a really strong class. It's a high A tier class right now. Barb is a B class at best. Anyway, we cleared out all the wolves. Let's see what he has. We have another pelt. Probably gonna get another one. Usually I get around three per raid, more or less. Okay, there is a couple more, I believe. Let's go quickly kill them. Even if you get two pelts, that's really sick, but um for like five games right I've been getting like around three pelts. Oh yeah, another pelt. Because the chance of a pelt is so high to drop. So if you're gonna try this, well, you're gonna get quite a lot of gold pretty quick, I'm gonna be honest. It's just uh, such a simple method. So yeah, we're gonna take that and we got another minute or so to get to extract. Is there any more wolves here? I don't think there is. That's kinda it, that's kinda it. All right, let's get the fuck out of here. Simple as that. We actually did everything so fast that we need to wait. Wow. Let's go fuck with giant, I guess. As long as the archer doesn't aggro, I'm fine. If they do, I'll... oh fuck. Where they all came from. Okay, 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 okay. Chill the fuck down, guys. 
I'm good. I'll just extract. <laughs> Listen, we just had another game where we made probably two and a half thousand gold effortlessly, literally effortlessly. We killed a couple of wolves, we killed Cleric who overestimated his abilities and we are good. That's basically what you can do to make quick gold for a quick gear set. 1500 gold is more than enough to make a decent purple kit for your bar or any other class really. We also made it slightly, like, you know, pretty quick before we got even to the midpoint. We also... Oh, nope. I'm not doing that. <laughs> pretty much in this round we got a um, little bit of cheese, a little bit of cheese. Probably, like, with the Ring of Wisdoms, maybe a little under a thousand and probably, like, another 1500 in the wolf belts. Overall, not bad. Anyway... I just want to quickly showcase you how you can make pretty quick money playing in the Frost Mountains just by simply following a very simple route. And I hope you were able to learn anything from this video. And if you found this video informative, don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna post a lot more content in the future. I'm a barbarian main and I'm still going to main barbarian even though this class is gutted out to fucking ground, you know what I mean? Anyway, it's Demo. I'll see you in the dungeon. Peace out.